After years of hit and miss adaptations, which would only improve with the advent of the successful film franchise, X-Men Legends would mark one of the better games based on the mutant heroes. Taking a page out of console RPGs like Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, the prospect of customising and creating a team of X-Men would leave fans excited, and it certainly delivers on that front. While not the absolute best of its class, Legends will please those with any vague interest in the Marvel squad, and with enough rock solid foundations and good storytelling, it may even hold appeal for the unfamiliar. Primarily following the exploits of Alison Crestmere, better known as Magma, Legends begins with a chaotic rescue in New York, as both agents from an anti mutant organisation and the Brotherhood attempt to apprehend her. After being rescued by the X-Men, a series of events leads to a dastardly pair of plots from both Magneto, leader of the Brotherhood, and xenophobic humans, afraid of mutants. The plot builds rather nicely, with a bevy of scenes which characterise the large roster of mutants well. While the voice acting can be spotty at points, and the lack of spoken dialogue during missions, due to the flexibility of your playable character, is disappointing. It is a pleasing story which will get extra love from fans of the source material, but due to its isolation from the comics, can easily be followed by newcomers. X-Men Legends is a top-down role-playing game, with a focus on action like Diablo. Players can punch, kick, throw objects and grab enemies, a system which proves both fluid and easy to grasp. Eventually allowing you to take a team of four on missions, the roster of 14 includes familiar faces such as Wolverine, Jean Grey, Cyclops and Beast. As you knock enemies out and complete objectives, XP is earned, eventually levelling up your character. This in turn allows you to assign both stat points and ability points, which lets you unlock three special moves and an ultimate power. While abilities are powerful, timing them with other mutants performs combos which deal extra damage. The mission design is pretty straightforward, seeing you mostly uncover a fogged map, move to the marker, and either destroy an object, defeat certain enemies and the like. It can grow tiring towards the end, with repetition sinking in, especially when you revisit previous levels. Am I playing too rough for you? <laughs> it takes a little while to wrap your head around Legends, but it develops into a satisfying RPG. Allocating points can sometimes be a bit of a gamble, with certain abilities proving more useful than others, and acclimatising yourself to each character's role is tricky when you are facing an onslaught of enemies. But the experience is still quite forgiving, with four characters giving you four chances to die, and plentiful save points enabling you to swap between them with ease. Boss fights prove quite tough at points, forcing you to combo them into submission. But the huge array of customization options, characters to select, and secrets to find, including unlockable artwork, give this game legs to stand on. Each mission is also broken up by a visit to the X Mansion, letting you converse with X Men as Magma and explore freely. While certain segments can be frustrating, they don't spoil an often fun time. You can expect to spend around 20 hours polishing off the main story, which isn't too long for the genre, but avoids outstaying its welcome, and there is more to uncover. Danger Room simulations let you test your abilities in dozens of challenges, which are unlocked via discs strewn around each level, though missed ones can be bought from a vendor. Testing your skills, combo attack timings, and defense awareness they reward XP and sometimes special loot, giving plenty of incentive to tackle them. Perhaps the strongest element of Legends is the co-op, 
letting you play through the majority of the game with three others via a multi-tap. While the friendly AI is competent and can be tweaked in the menu to change their behaviour, there's nothing quite like playing through the game with real people. You can also partake in skirmishes, both with or against friends outside of the campaign. And that woman? She was going to make me join something called the Brotherhood. She could come after me again. Any time! Allison, you couldn't be in safer hands. We're the X-Men. Raven Software created a distinct look here, making X-Men Legends stand out despite some clear technical limitations. While much of the game looks a tad basic, the FMVs are quite blurry and the action can cause performance to dip, the stylized characters fit really well. Rendered with light cell shading, they stand out amongst a regular environment and make following the action easier. Powers look flashy and destructive environments, including walls and doors which sometimes can be broken, leave you feeling a surge of power. The sound is strong, with a great soundtrack which escalates and deprecates with the on-screen action. The effects are potent, perhaps to a fault, muting much of the other sound during gameplay, and the voice work is all over the spectrum, though the appearance of Patrick Stewart as Professor X is welcome and of good quality. Professor Xavier, I'd like you to meet Alison Crestmere. Hello Alison, welcome to the Institute. How are you? X-Men Legends is a solid RPG with plenty of positives. While not earth-shattering, the deep customization, engaging storytelling and fluid action make for a fun time. As an action RPG, it's not quite the best of its kind, but certainly decent. As an X-Men game, it's both faithful and inclusive, making for an enjoyable romp, even for the uninitiated. Though, fans of the comic franchise will certainly get more value out of the references. But PS2 owners, looking for a good way to spend a couple of dozen hours, would do well to pick this one up. Freeze, beauty! Hey bub, you should have called in sick today.